All right, class, so this is a practice problem that we um, have in preparation of our exam coming up, and this is a really great problem. We have a, a sort of classic quenching problem or a transfer of energy problem from a piece of metal to a water bath. And so let's just sort of get into it. What we're looking for is the, the final temperature of a water bath. So that's sort of our end goal, T final equals question mark. We have a 750 piece of gram piece of steel. Steel is essentially iron, so it says mostly iron. So we're gonna use the specific heat for iron when we solve this problem in a five liter water bath. So we've got some amount of water as well. We've got an initial temperature of the water bath. Water bath starts at 24 degrees Celsius. And we've got a initial temperature for a piece of metal, 450 degrees Celsius. It's a really hot piece of metal. Um, and we're gonna dump it into our water bath and we're gonna transfer of energy. So if I wanted to draw a little picture, and I would recommend you guys always draw these little pictures. Here's my piece of metal. So I've got 450 grams of metal and I've got 5.00 liters of water. And there's gonna be an energy transfer, right? There's gonna be energy being transferred from the metal to the surrounding water. So we can sort of set up some, some equations and sort of think about what's, what's gonna be happening here. Um, we've got a specific heat of iron and we've got a specific heat of water. So from the point of view of the metal, the metal's gonna lose energy, right? It's gonna lose energy to the, the water solution. And that amount of energy we can model with Q equals S times M times delta T. So I'm choosing to use Q equals S M delta T because I've got a certain um, mass of water, or excuse me, a mass of steel, and I've got a specific heat for that, that piece of iron. So if I wanted to sort of, you know, calculate that, that would equal 0 0.444 times my mass, 750 grams per, um, 750 grams, times my delta T. So my delta T here, we don't know what T final is, right? So we don't know T final, that's what we're looking for, minus T initial. So the T initial is gonna be 450 degrees Celsius. So this calculation here, this is gonna tell me essentially how much energy was transferred away from the metal. Now I can do the similar thing for the water. So for the water, again, Q equals S times M times delta T. And my S value for water is 4.184. And my mass for water is gonna be, in this case, 5,000. So I came up with 5,000 because five liters is 5,000 milliliters and the density of water is one gram per milliliter. So 5,000 grams would be the mass of five liters of water. Again, my delta T, T final minus my T initial, in this case, that's gonna be 24. So this amount of energy, this is gonna represent the amount of energy that the water is going to absorb, right? The water is absorbing this energy from the hot piece of metal. So that's gonna be you know, some amount of water, some amount of energy that's absorbed by the water. I would expect this value to be a positive value because it's absorbing the energy. If we think about the signs that we have here, T final should be above 24, right? the water's gonna warm up a little bit. So this will be all positive values, so that will be a positive, number, uh, positive amount of energy. And over here, this T final, that should be less than 450 degrees, right? We're gonna be losing energy from, from the metal. So this over here, that's gonna end up being a negative value. Now, the interesting thing here is that these should be equal to one another except for their sign. So if I introduce a minus one on this side, basically what I'm saying is that now I'm gonna sort of switch this from a negative value of energy that's being released, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna set that, you know, multiply by minus one, so now I'm gonna get a positive value for this. And that's gonna be equal to this positive value for water. So now I've got this big equation, and there's only one unknown, and I can go ahead and solve for you know, this T final. So the way that I would do that, I would sort of group things together. So I'll show you that calculation here. So the first thing I'm doing is just multiplying this out. Minus one times 0.444 times 750 gets me to here. That's gonna be equal to 20920 T final minus 24. Now just sort of distributing this a little bit more minus 333 T final plus, so I've got a minus um, times a minus is gonna be a plus 149850 
equals 20920 t final minus in this case 502080. So sort of a lot of a lot of math here, a lot of algebra. I can group the like things together. So I'm gonna bring this value over here, put this t final over here, and I end up with 651930 equals 21,253 t final. And then finally I can solve for t final and I got a value of 30.7 degrees Celsius. So this problem is, is a really great problem in terms of, of thinking about energy transfer. Um, the real key here, right, is thinking about from the point of view of the metal, how much energy is gonna be transferred. And that is all a, a, a sort of a, you know, calculation based off of that T final, that delta T. How much is the temperature gonna change? How much metal do we have? And what's the specific heat of that metal? So this calculation here tells us you know, what you know, amount of energy is gonna be leaving the metal when I dunk it in that water. And this equation over here, this calculation over here is gonna tell us how much energy the water is absorbing. Right? And so this is gonna be a positive value. And the value, since it's energy transfer, all of this energy transferred from the metal is absorbed by the water. So we can set these equal to one another and solve for our T final. All right, 